Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have five dinners that I made for my family last week to give you some inspiration on some new ideas to make for yours. On Monday, I made a sweet potato and ground turkey skillet. It called for just regular ground turkey, but I had a breakfast salt or a, yeah, breakfast sausage ground turkey that I needed to use. So I figured it would give it some good flavor and I tried it in it and it was, it actually really did. Um, first you're going to start by cubing or dicing up three sweet potatoes and one small onion. Then just heat up your skillet with some oil and throw some minced garlic in there. And stir it around. And once you have your meat broken up, you're going to put in a mixture of cumin, chili powder, salt, and pepper, which by the way, I'll have all ingredients and everything listed below to make that a lot easier, but just stir it up. And then you're gonna toss in your onions. Once your onions have cooked up for a couple of minutes, you're going to add in all of the sweet potatoes. Then you're going to add in a half a cup of water, which was mainly to make sure the turkey didn't dry out in this dish. But with it being the turkey sausage and all the fat, I don't think it would have any way. But it's, it was still a good idea. Then you're going to just put the lid on it and cook it for about 15 minutes. Just in about 15 minutes, just check the potatoes, make sure they're ready. I had mine on, I believe about 250. And of course you're going to top it with cheese. We topped it with mozzarella. And then my husband wanted to toss in a little bit of cheese. He just wanted to get on video, I guess. And then you're going to just cover it until the cheese is melted and add fresh cilantro if you have it or dried if you don't like I didn't. And on Tuesday I made our very favorite shrimp co or coconut shrimp curry that we put over rice. I could eat this all the time. It is so good. I'm going to start by chopping up an onion. Just a small onion. And then dice up two large or three medium russet potatoes. I mean, you could add another one if you want, but this seems to be the perfect amount in there. You're gonna put a little bit of oil in your pressure cooker and then just toss in some minced garlic. I don't ever measure that. Same with this. I think I put in half, yeah, half a tablespoon of ginger. You could use the paste also, but the store without. So this is what I used. I don't use too much ginger. We're not huge fans of it, but it does give a little bit of good flavor. Toss in your onions. And then you're going to put in a whole can of coconut milk and then fill that can up with water and pour that in there as well. It'll help with the potatoes cooking. And 
Then you're gonna toss in a bag of frozen shrimp, two tablespoons of curry powder, one tablespoon of turmeric, and one teaspoon, a little bit less, of cayenne pepper, depending on your heat preference. This was not hot at all. I actually could have probably used a little bit more, so I'd go towards more, uh, or more towards a teaspoon. Now you put in your potatoes and a diced tomato that I forgot to record, but it was just a Roman tomato, just one, a small. Stir it up and then you're going to put in just salt and pepper to preference. Then you're gonna just mix it up really well. Put your litter, lid, litter, lid on and make sure it is sealed and not venting. And cook it for three minutes. And once it is finished, you're gonna turn on the saute function and get it boiling a little bit and pour in a cornstarch slurry, which is just equal parts cornstarch mixed with cold water. It has to be cold or it won't work right. And just mix until it thickens up really nicely. And then you're gonna add in half a cup to a cup of cashews. Actually, I'm pretty sure I added more than half a cup this time. I tossed some more in there. It's my favorite part. And there you have it. Toss it over some rice, and I'm telling you, you're going to love this. And on Wednesday, I made salmon patties. Just make sure you get all the bones out. Didn't show that boring process. It kind of takes a few minutes. Crack one egg. And then you are going to add a tablespoon of mayonnaise, a little less than a tablespoon of Dijon mustard, about a teaspoon of garlic powder, maybe about a tablespoon of minced garlic, or I'm sorry, minced onion, and then a tablespoon of lemon juice. And then you're gonna put in about half a cup of panko and mix it up really well and form patties. I wanna toss in some parsley also, and then some salt and pepper. And then you're going to put the patties in a nonstick or cast iron skillet that's got some oil in it and been heated to about medium heat and flip them when they're good and golden brown. Preferably a little bit more golden than these, but I mean, they're still good. I'd say about four, four minutes each side. Kind of like the top ones up there. And then I served this with green beans and a side of ketchup. My whole family loved it. And on Thursday, I made jumbo stuffed shells with meat sauce for my son's birthday. He loves pasta. Here's 
You're going to start by putting your meat in a pan and, you know, browning it up and put about 22 jumbo, jumbo shells into a pot of water and cooking them. And then once they're done cooking, you're going to rinse them with cold water. And then for the filling, about a cup, cup and a half of cottage cheese or ricotta, whichever one you prefer. We just prefer, prefer cottage cheese in these dishes. Um, a half a cup of mozzarella and about a third a half, a, half a cup of Parmesan cheese, some Italian seasoning, onion powder, parsley, and garlic. And just mix that up really well. Once your meat is done, drain it and put whatever jar of sauce you want. Today, I think I used, or that day, I used a Classico spicy basil or something like that. It was pretty good. Never tried that one in particular. And then you're going to get a baking pan of your choice, spoon some of the sauce in the bottom, and then just start sh stuffing your shells once they the cold water rinsing or stops the cooking process and then it makes it a whole lot easier to grab them and stuff them with the mixture And then you are going to spoon the rest of the meat sauce over the noodles um, or shells, stuffed shells, whatever. And top that with mozzarella cheese. Loosely put some aluminum foil over the top so the cheese doesn't stick to it unless you have it in a deeper dish than I did. And then cook it at 400 for 20 minutes. And while those were cooking, I went ahead and started icing some cupcakes that I had cooling for my son's second birthday. Which is still so hard to believe that he is already two. It's like your third goes by so much quicker. Well, they all go by fast, but this one's been the fastest. I think it's just because life's a lot busier with three. And then um, my daughters, of course, wanted to help decorate the cupcakes. So I let them put the sprinkles on. And on Friday, I made a sausage and potato breakfast skillet. I'm going to start by dicing up four roasted potatoes. And if anybody has any suggestions on a better non-slip, non I guess, um, cutting board, let me know. I love these little ones because they're easy, but my counter is like it slips everywhere. Okay, anyway. You're going to toss the potatoes into your skillet with a little bit of oil and heat it up. And I have diced up an onion and tossed that in there as well. Probably about half a small onion. Next time I'd use a whole one because with it cooking in the skillet like this and caramelizing it, they were so good. And then you're going to top it with whatever salt and pepper you want. I just chose, I like the Himalayan pink salt. Don't use it in every dish. Or at least not cooking, usually in things like this. And then the black peppercorn. Just, I put a lot. I feel like potatoes usually need a lot of seasoning. So, let me do it to your preference. But, that was perfect. 
and then you're going to slice up uh, any kind of beef link sausage this one was just beef i believe um and toss it in stir it up I guess I just felt like it needed more salt and pepper so I put some more on there and put the lid on and let that cook for about 10 minutes 10 to 15 minutes just you know check and everybody's different it depends on what heat setting you have it on but just check with a fork and see if they're done and then you're gonna make like kind of a little I don't know what you call it I can think of it right now but you put in eggs just crack four eggs and I would suggest to to cook the potatoes for a little bit longer before you put the eggs in if you like yours runny because I like mine runny and I put the eggs in too soon and they were fully cooked so it was still good but if you want them runny wait 10 more minutes and then add the eggs I put the lid on and cooked it for an additional 15 minutes so that's about 25 minutes total and then topped it with cheese and of course covered that up and let that melt and there you have it that was really good oh yeah I forgot I topped it with some Cajun seasoning as well to kind of give it that vibe and add a little bit of spice to it and I thought it was really good whole family loved it when it was gone my husband wished there was more so I'll be adding this one into our regular meals thank y'all so much for watching and don't forget to subscribe and like if you enjoyed what you saw and I will be uploading weekly meals like this Thank you.